Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure you have watched part 1 to part 29. Now you must be wondering why did we do so much electronic conviction? What information we are getting from electronic conviction? So let's see this. The molecular behavior can be predicted from electronic configuration. Stability of molecules, the bond order, the nature of bond, the bond length, magnetic character, all these things we can find using electronic configuration. We will explain this one by one. All these things we can find if you know the electronic configuration of a molecule. So if let's suppose my NB is the number of electrons in bonding orbitals and NA is in my anti-bonding orbitals, then my molecule is stable if my bonding is number of electrons in bonding is greater than number of electrons in anti -bonding. So, if my bonding electrons is greater than anti bonding electrons, my molecule is stable. Quite reasonable also because I told that bonding has lower energy, anti bonding has higher energy. So, if I have more and more electrons in the bonding orbitals, that means my system is pretty stable. Right? And if it is it is stable other way around, if my anti-bonding electrons count as more than bonding electrons. Bond order, as I told in case of Lewis definition, the bond order was nothing but the number of bonds. But in this case, the bond order is nothing but 1 by 2 or, or half the difference of the number of electrons in bonding and anti-bonding orbitals. The bond order is nothing but 1 by 2 into nb minus nb when nb is nothing but number of electrons in bonding electrons see b for bonding a for anti bonding minus na that is number of electrons in anti bonding so here also positive bond order means molecule is stable and the negative means negative or zero means the molecule is unstable correct because we told that if it is positive that means a bonding molecule will be number number of uh, electrons in bonding molecule orbitals will be greater than number of electrons in anti-bonding. So, we talk about nature of bond. So, integral bond order of value 1, 2, 3 is generally for single, double or triple bond. Right? This is generally something which we learn in the classical concept. But we have seen the resonance and all. Right? In resonance, we have something called we get 1.5 as a bond order. There, there we talk about the resonance. Correct. So, if we get bond order is 1, you say it is single bond, 2 double bond, 3 double bond, if it is 1.5, say it is something of resonance. When you talk about bond length, since till now we have just got the bond order, how to get the bond length? So, the theory says that the bond order can be taken approximate measure of bond length. That means we say that bond length is inversely proportional to bond order. So, I know the bond order, higher the bond order, lower the bond length. And that is something which you have seen in the earlier theories also. So, for double bond, the bond length was less, for triple bond, the bond length was all the more less. Right? So, same thing here. So, with the bond order, we can have a fair idea of the bond length also. So, bond order is something which we can easily find using molecular orbital theory. Magnetic nature is something which we can easily find. When I started this uh, theory, I talked about oxygen being paramagnetic and uh, it's difficult to tell it is paramagnetic by the earlier theories, but this theory helps us to find the magnetic uh, nature. For example, oxygen uh, molecule, right? We'll, we'll tell you how to find this. So it says that uh, if all the molecular orbitals in the molecules are doubly occupied, it is dimagnetic. And if one or more molecular uh, orbital are singly occupied, it is paramagnetic. So, in case of its paramagnetic, it will be attracted by magnetic field. If it is dimagnetic, it will be repelled by magnetic field. Correct. We will take some examples where we will explain all the uh, properties once again. Right. So, we will start with hydrogen. 
so hydrogen has hydrogen molecule is nothing but my two hydrogen atom and hydrogen my uh, electronic configuration is 1s1 for hydrogen atom so i have one atom here one electron here one electron here right so if you fill this this is two electron here so now if you see hydrogen everything is filled let's let's find the bond order first bond order is nothing but 1 by 2 into number of electron in bonding minus number of electron in antibonding so how many electron in bonding two antibonding zero so this becomes one that means there is a single bond and which you can see that hydrogen has a single bond correct also there is no one paired electron all the electrons are paired so it is di magnet let's take helium so in case of helium we'll have the structure so helium is uh, my helium molecule is nothing but one two helium atom so helium atom my electronic configuration is 1s2 so let's put two electrons here and two electrons here correct so we'll have four electrons let's fill four electrons in this fashion so what is the bond order 1 by 2 into number of electron in bonding minus number of electron antibonding so this becomes 1 by 2 into bonding electrons there are two antibonding the star is two that becomes zero so bond order is zero that means it is not stable and doesn't exist correct very simple so there is no point in finding magnetic nature let's take beryllium so for be atom for be atom my electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 correct so let's put 1s2 2s2 here 1s2 2s2 correct let's fill it four electrons all filled four electrons all filled let's find the bond order 1 by 2 number in anti bond bonding minus number in anti bonding how many electrons in bonding 2 plus 2 4 right this four anti bonding the remaining one 2 plus 2 4 this also gives zero that means it doesn't exist pretty easy lithium let's see if lithium to exist or not and if it exists what is the uh, i mean what is the, it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic let's see this so for lithium it is 1s2 2s1 this is my lithium uh, atom electronic configuration so let's put this 1s2 2s1 1s2 2s1 so now let's uh, put the value there four electrons put the four electrons two electrons both will be here let's write the bond bonding order 1 by 2 into n bonding minus n anti bonding how many bonding this and this so four anti bonding the remaining one two you get one that means it is single bond correct it is stable and what about the magnetism it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic if you see there is no unpaired electron so it is di magnetic correct let's take for the carbon so carbon is uh, six electron in the carbon atom so 1s2 2s2 2p2 right this is the carbon atom so let's put here 1s2 2s2 2p2 here also same thing correct so let's fill this four electron four electrons now we have again four electrons here right so 1 2 3 correct so let's find the bond order 1 by 2 
एंटी बॉन्डिंग माइनस बॉन्डिंग माइनस एंटी बॉन्डिंग हाउ मेनी बॉन्डिंग दिस इज बॉन्डिंग दिस इज बॉन्डिंग दिस इज बॉन्डिंग टू फोर एट एट माइनस एंटी बॉन्डिंग इज टू इट इज थ्री करेक्ट सो दैट मीन्स इट इज अ कार्बन कार्बन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड so it is a mistake here 2 and 2 4 it is 4 here so 8 minus 4 by 4 it is 2 that is double bond also it is stable because it is greater than 0 and there is no unpaired electrons so it is di magnet correct let's take oxygen six oxygen oxygen atom has electronic configuration of 1s2 2s2 2p4 let's fill this 1s2 2s2 2p4 1 2 3 and 4 similarly here will fill the same manner correct now let's write this 4 fill this 4 4 fill this 4 now we have 8 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Let's write the bond order for this. One by two, and bonding minus anti-bonding. How many bonding? Two, four, six, and four. Ten. Ten minus anti-bonding is how many? Two, four, six. Right? So you get two. That means there is a double bond. What about the magnetic character? I can see the unpaired electron, right? So it is paramagnetic. Since unpaired electron, unpaired electron over there, so it is para. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.